Hi, this is just a quick little tutorial to show you how to completely make sure that you install a font that you've downloaded. So first go to your download folder and look for whatever it saved it as. It's going to be a compressed or zipped folder and I just right click that and hit extract all. It's going to give you a default location and name and you can use that. Uh, typically if it's a font that I have a commercial license for I go ahead and save those in a separate folder. That way I have my license with the font and can access it really quickly. Um, so this one is, so I'm going to do that real quick. All right. So then you can have this show extracted files when complete. So I'm going to hit extract. And it's going to extract those compressed files out of there and then it's going to open up this new window. So here I have the font. If there's more than one, and you'll notice the type, these are all open type font. Uh, sometimes it might be, it might have the open type and the true type fonts. Um, you don't need to install both, you just need one. Um, so I'm going to select all three of these, and then I'm just going to right click and hit install. You could also double click one at a time, and I'll show you that here in just a second. Um, you could do one at a time, hit install, and then let it install it, then do the next one, and then the next one. But if there's more than one and they're all together, you can just select all of them, right click, and hit that install button. Once you've done that, they're ready for you to use um, in any of your programs. If it's Cricut Design Space that you're using, you do need to make sure that you um, close it all out and then uh, go back into it, and then that way it'll show all those fonts. Um, and if it's um, Inkscape, same thing, you need to close all the windows out and then reopen it and then they'll be there for you to use. So hope that helps.